This week brings quite a few high profile releases to help unburden your wallet of all that pesky money. Hi, I'm Jamie Segarra and this is Your Press Pause Daily. is the much anticipated action RPG Diablo 3, which brings players back to the land of Sanctuary. 20 years have passed since the end of the last Diablo 2 expansion and the Demon Lords, Asmodan, and Belial make a return. The game will feature five character classes, including the Barbarian, the Monk, the Wizard, the Witch Doctor, and the Demon Hunter. You'll be able to use the environment as a weapon by setting traps or using destructible objects and environmental obstacles to your advantage. The game's multiplayer will utilize a new and improved version of Blizzard's Battle.net that'll make connecting and playing with your friends a lot easier. You'll also be able to utilize in-game artisans that can help you craft new weapons and items, and the in-game auction house will let you sell items for in-game as well as real-world money. The single-player game will let you use up to three AI followers and skills and abilities will unlock as soon as you level up. You'll also be able to use many more of your new skills simultaneously. Gamers have been patiently waiting for this game for over 10 years. I'm sure there are a lot of people who won't be heard from for a few weeks after they get their hands on this. Next up is the return of the popular third-person shooter, Max Payne. Max Payne 3 sees an older and slightly more broken Max as he decides to take a job down in Sao Paulo, Brazil, protecting the family of wealthy real estate mogul Rodrigo Branco. Of course, as things usually go in this type of story, everything turns to shit. And now Max finds himself alone in an unfamiliar city and he'll have to find out the truth in order to survive. The game will feature cutting edge shooting mechanics for precision gunplay, advanced new bullet time and shoot dodge effects, full integration of natural motions euphoria character behavior system for lifelike movement. This will also be the first Max Payne game to feature multiplayer. It'll feature the same bullet time as a single player game. It'll also have many weapons, characters, locations and more to choose from. A lot of people were skeptical about a new Max Payne game, especially one not developed by Remedy. However, things are looking pretty good for this release, and it might just be one to take a closer look at. Our next game is based on the wildly popular book and television series Game of Thrones. This 30 plus hour game will take gamers into the George R.R. Martin created world of Westeros as one of two original characters who are both once part of Robert's Rebellion. As you play, you'll forge alliances and wage battles as they play a pivotal role in the ongoing war for power of the Seven Kingdoms. Feel time slow in the heat of battle. Combat mirrors the series' thoughtful approach to war and politics. Fighting slows but never stops entirely, forcing the player to make quick pressured choices before their enemy strikes again. If you're a fan of both the books or the TV series and want to spend more time in the land of Westeros, then go ahead and grab this title today. And lastly today, we have a tie-in to the upcoming movie based on the classic board game Battleship. Step into the role of Cole Mathis, the US Navy's boots on the ground, and experience thrilling gameplay as you combat a deadly alien invasion in this game inspired by the upcoming Universal Pictures film. Command real-time control of naval units, strategize a map-wide plan of attack, and direct your fleet to launch airstrikes, conduct radar sweeps, and engage in high seas combat. Battle against the invading threat on the shores of Hawaii as a member of the elite EOD, arm yourself with an arsenal of deadly weapons and upgradable naval units, all with special attacks and attributes. The movie itself looks like good dumb fun in the vein of a Michael Bay film, and hopefully this game can be just as entertaining. It is a movie tie-in game though, so I don't hold out much hope. That's it for your daily dose of Press Pause. If you want to catch up on past episodes, go to PressPause.Mevio.com and you know our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash PressPauseMevio, and don't forget to subscribe.